Hey folks, welcome to New Master That Riff. Today I'm going to be looking at Lil Jack Corny by Extreme because it's one of my all time favourite riffs. And I saw uh, Extreme live recently and it was just amazing to see Nuno live and hear the song up on stage as well. So, um, first off, I want to get tuning. And Nuno normally you know, tunes down a half step. So I'm a half step down, but I'm also dropped D. So what I have here is a, a D flat. And an A flat. And a D flat. And a G flat. And a B flat. And an E flat on the top. So the song starts off with a really, really cool melodic uh, sequence played with natural harmonics. Now, the you may be used to playing natural harmonics maybe just by holding a finger over the kind of harmonic point and just playing the harmonics without much movement at the left hand. When you're playing melodies like this, you have to get used to moving the left hand but not depressing the string because you want the, the harmonics to ring out. So that can be quite tricky to begin with when you're using these different fingers to play the harmonics. Just think of keeping that touch very, very light. So when you're moving your fingers, it's almost as if you're kind of just uh, lightly brushing the strings rather than kind of pushing down. So let's break this down into little uh, kind of chunks. So our first chunk goes like this. Okay. Now what I'm doing here is I'm starting off 9th fret of that uh, D string. And I'm using my 4th finger here. Because the next note is the 5th fret of the D string and I want to do that kind of stretch. Yeah. Then I play 7th fret of the D string. Then I play 7th fret of the A and then 7th fret of the D. And then back to 9th fret of that low D string. Okay, so it goes like this. I'm using my third finger at the seventh fret there. You may want to use the middle finger. You know, but I use my third there. Okay, next sequence sounds like this. Okay, so this bit. Um, what I'm doing here is I'm playing fifth fret of that D string with the first finger. Then I want to play seven on the D. 7 in the A, 7 in the D again, and then back to 7 in the low D. So it kind of goes. Um, and then I play 5th fret of the G string, and then 7th fret of the B string. You know, sometimes I may use my pinky there actually. Yeah, use my kind of pinky there. And that was those two sequences together, you know, I'll do it again slowly. Um, good thing is, we just repeat all that again. Next bit sounds like this. So what I'm doing here is I'm playing 4th fret, that D string now. Then I'm going to play... So I play 4th fret the D, 7th fret the D, 7th fret that G, and then 4th fret of the A. So that's my four notes there. I'm using my pinky again, just mostly for the stretch, but also I feel as if I get a lighter touch with that pinky, plus it's a smaller finger, so it's easier to kind of hit the, the target harmonic, I suppose. Next, two harmonics, 7th fret of the G string, 7th, uh, 12th fret of G string, like that. So that whole bit goes like this. And notice I miss hit that first harmonic there, so I'll do it again, but make sure that rings out. And don't hit other strings like I did there as well. Next sequence goes like this. Okay, so I'm playing 7 in the D, 7 in the G, 7 in the D. And then I play 4th fret that A. And then I play 7 in the G. Oops, so it kind of goes. Then 4th fret the A, 5th fret of that D. I use my 2nd finger though so it's nice, I'm not having to shift about, but if you want, you could shift the 1st finger bit there if you wanted. So that whole bit goes like this. Okay. The last little harmonic sequence goes like this. So I'm playing 5th fret that D string, and I'm doing my 7 in the D, 7 in the G, 7 in the D again. 
and then I end it off with these four notes, five in the B, five in the G, seven in the B, seven in the G. Yeah, so that goes like this. Out. Okay, so if I put all that together nice and slow, I'll put a little pause maybe between each of those sections, goes like this. And then we go. And then we do that again. Then we have this bit. And then we have our last bit. Now we get into the main riff. So we start off, good rocking tune, slide down the neck. You know, always means we're leading into something pretty cool. Uh, so this is another one of these swung riffs. So it's got a nice groove to it, swing 16ths. You know, rather than kind of doing your da 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 da. You know, so watch out for that feel, make sure you get that kind of groove going. So the first, um, a little sequence goes, goes like this. Okay. So, what I'm doing here is I'm going to play the open D string twice. And it is open and I've got a slight palm mute on it really to control it. It gives it a little bit more punch. Uh, but I'm also down tuned and there's a big thick string so I don't want it flapping about. I want to control it a little bit more so I don't want it to ring out more than it has to. So I hit that twice. Then what I'm going to do is take my second finger and do a pull off 3 to 0 on that string. Yeah. Then I do a pull off first finger, 2 to 0 on the A string. And then I do a pull off 3 to 0 on that D string again. Okay. So it kind of goes like this. Yeah. Yeah. And that last kind of pull off to the D string, it's kind of a little bit quieter because of the way the groove is, the dynamics of it. Yeah. So. Uh, next little bit. So what I'm doing here is I'm now going to play three, two in the A string, but they're nice staccato notes. So I want them to kind of stand out. There's space between them, so it gives it that kind of funky feel. Yeah. So I go ba ba, and then I have a little sequence that goes like this. So what I'm going to do is hammer second to third to second to open A string. I use my first and second fingers for all of that. Yeah. But the way to think about it is where you're ending up, which is that third fret of the D string again. Yeah. And then after that, you've got this kind of sustained D string, which is kind of the start of the next kind of sequence. So that bit goes like this. Uh, okay. If I put it all together, it goes. D string leads into the next bit. Now the next bit uh, would go like this. Yeah, so it goes like... Okay. Um, so what I'm doing here starts off very similar. So you've got the sustained D. Uh, and you go... So this is where we, we change our little variation. What I'm doing here is I'm going to slide to 5th fret the D string with the 3rd finger. And I play 3rd fret that D string with the 1st finger, but I dig in a little bit more and get a bit more of a pinch harmonic. You know, you can experiment with whereabouts, but it's kind of a bit there. Then I have this really cool bit of um, kind of uh, legato with a slight palm mute in it. Nuno's a master at this sort of kind of very percussive kind of sounding legato use. And it's two uh, groups of three notes. What I'm going to do is play open A string, hammer from nowhere to third fret, hammer from nowhere to fifth fret D string. So you're playing two different strings there. Yeah, so it all starts from this kind of A string basically. That's your first three notes. And then you play the open A string again, and hammer from nowhere to E5 on the D string. So that's a kind of groove of it because it's basically kind of triplets there. Uh, so if I put that together, that bar goes like this. Okay. Um, next bar is the same as that first bar. You just play. 
forgot to put my staccato in there. Hear the difference that makes? And then the last bar we go. Okay. So what I'm doing here is again start off with a. I've got this little sequence here. So what I'm going to do is shift up and do a quick hammer and pull off. Uh, third to fifth fret to third fret. And I'm using my first to second finger here, which is a little bit of a stretch. And the reason for that is I want to play seven on the D string after that. So you can think of it as four notes. Now I kind of pick it. Nuno might use that as a hammer from nowhere. So you might just pick that once, that A string once. You know, but I, I tend to pick it. And then once I've done that, my second finger plays fifth fret that D string. You know, so it kind of goes. Then I go up to the third fret A string again. And then what I'm going to do is slide five to seven. So grace note slide on that D string again. So that whole little sequence goes. Now I used actually the middle finger for the slide there because it keeps the hand shape the same. And then I end it off with a three, five on the D string again there, first to third finger, you know, and that leads back into the kind of start of the riff. So that bar kind of goes like this. That may be back at the start, okay? So there you go. So hopefully that will shed some light on how to play that riff from Little Jack Corney, and hopefully inspire you to go on and maybe look at the rest of the song. Uh, good luck with the guitar solo, if you do. It's a pretty challenging guitar solo. Um, but as usual, um, check out the Master of the Guitar website. If you go to the bottom of the page, uh, masterofthegutar.co.uk, you'll see all the various, various kind of social media stuff that I've got there. And I've got loads of different things kind of uh, going on Instagram and Twitter and things like that. So have a wee look and, um, and you know, see whatever takes your fancy. And if you want, you can sign up to the newsletter down there as well. If you want to keep up to date with uh, when I put videos up to YouTube or lessons on the website, you know, hopefully uh, when I get the time to do that. So, uh, hope you enjoyed that. And I'll fingers crossed it won't be uh, too long before we get another video up. So have fun.